morning, Turks and Caicos. Today I appear with the Honorable Minister of Health and the Director of Health Services, Dr. Nadia Aswood, to bring an important update to the people of the Turks and Caicos. Today, the Turks and Caicos reports its first COVID-19 case. We remain the last few of four Caribbean nations. Two others recorded their first cases yesterday. Whilst we hoped and instituted measures to mitigate risk, we began preparing some time ago for the impact. It is even now more important that we follow health advice, in particular hand hygiene, proper hand hygiene, and social distancing. I am confident in the advice given by Team Health and must reemphasize the importance of social distancing. It is important to reduce risk and also to reduce spread by breaking contact. And I want to explain that numbers do matter, even in the numbers allowed as of midnight tomorrow, now to be revised. 25 persons can multiply contact easily. If a person tests positive from a group of 25, our medical team has to conduct what is known as contact tracing. All persons now more than ever in responsible action and seek to help us break the contact and hence control and stop the spread. We have several important strands of work ongoing today in our joined up government approach. Whilst my colleagues and I are here in the nation's capital for our House of Assembly meeting to lay the emergency powers so as to give effect, His Excellency the Governor is chairing an important NIOC, that is the National Emergency Operations Center meeting, and you will recall that we activated the NIA expressly for this purpose. Tomorrow we meet in cabinet to approve important next steps and we ask you to comply with all the additional measures that will be put in place. Please listen for an urgent update tomorrow. As usual, I am asking that we remain calm and help us to manage this experience in the best way we can. And this can only truly be achieved if each and every one of us play our critical role. I now invite Dr. Aswith to give us further information. Good morning, everyone. A sample was sent to the National Reference Laboratory in Bahamas for testing and subsequently came back positive for coronavirus COVID-19 today, Monday, 23rd of March, 2020. The individual had no recent travel history and began information regarding the person's possible contacts in order to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. Interviews have been conducted with the patient to identify close contacts such as family members, friends and business associates and we will continue to keep the public updated on the situation as it progresses. This announcement will create some public concern which is understandable and as such the Ministry would like to reassure everyone that we are taking all necessary precautions and following established infection prevention and control protocols in relation to any suspected or confirmed cases of COVID-19. We continue to enhance measures to fight against COVID-19, such as enhanced surveillance at all ports of entry, our activated preparedness and response plan for COVID-19, and training for healthcare providers and frontline workers regarding infection prevention and control. In addition, we have been continuously disseminating information to the general public in all forms of media via our Facebook page, the government website, the Ministry of Health website, as well as other forms of media. We wish to remind the general public that practicing simple everyday Closed receptacle. Avoid close contact with persons displaying fever symptoms, and persons should practice social distancing, keeping three to six feet from one another, 
as this step helps reduce interaction between people and can prevent the spread of disease. If you have fever or cough and the displaying symptoms of shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, please seek medical care immediately by contacting our hotlines. The numbers are 232-9444 or 338-0911. Please do not flood the emergency room, the hospital, or healthcare centers. Please use these hotlines as a means to contact the health team and we will provide you assistance and guidance as we do not want to transfer any infections to our vital healthcare facilities. It is in each and every one of our hands to prevent the spread of COVID-19. I ask you to be your brother's keeper. The simple advice that we have continued to provide through the Ministry of Health are the measures that are within your powers to make an impact. Please be mindful of those who are vulnerable in our community, such as the elderly and those with underlying medical conditions. We all have a duty to protect one another. Thank you, Honourable Minister. Uh, thank you. Uh, in closing, I just want to say what happens now depends on all of us. We have a choice to make. We have to adjust our behaviors. We cannot go on as business as usual. We have been trying to get the public more engaged, more aware of what is going on. We know it's human nature that most persons do not take things serious and tell us serious but with all things in humans we are made for this just like everything else we will get through this and we will come out better on the end for this and I just want to reassure you we're going to do all we can to mitigate we have put the window of containment is closing on us but the window of mitigation is wide open and so we have to mitigate this disease spreading in our country and we will Thank you very much. So thank you, Turks and Caicos. Remember, we are a resilient people, and it's important for us to take matters in our own hands now. If you please do not throw up your hands in this crisis, but wash them. Keep them away from your mouth, your eyes, and your nose. It is important now that we all take responsible action, not just for ourselves. And I just want to just reemphasize as we, we close this update, this very important update, Dr. Oswald would have spoken about those persons with underlying conditions, and that is persons who are elderly, those persons who may have heart um, compl complaints, I should say conditions, um, renal failure, hypertension, diabetes, asthma, all of these things we know are prevalent in our community. So if you are thinking that I'm not one of these persons, think of these persons that you may actually come into contact with. We must be our brother's people. So we want you to listen for an important update tomorrow following our cabinet meeting where we will be instituting further measures and we ask only that you comply and follow good health advice. And remember, the official voice for us is the Ministry of Health. May God bless these beautiful